How's it going? Phone Lab, it's Root Junkie here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about this device right over here. This is my Samsung Note 10 Plus. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to unlock the bootloader. Yeah, that's right. This is a Qualcomm device, and we're going to unlock the bootloader today. So let's go ahead and do this. So you're going to need a couple things. Obviously, the latest Odin. So we're going to go ahead and open up the latest Odin. And we'll get this guy set up so we can do some flashing. And then you're going to need a file. And I'm going to talk about more about how to get that file and, and what that is in a bit here. But we're going to go ahead and go in here to AP. And fair warning, this will wipe the device. So be aware of that. And then we're going to go to, there it is, the N975. We're going to go to Tokens. We're going to go to Bootloader Unlock. And we're going to select the uh, token. Mine is right here. And we're going to click that guy. Now, the device you can see right now is just in a normal state. So we need to go ahead and we need to go ahead and put it into bootloader mode. So to do that, we're going to use AT command injector. We're going to connect to it. We're going to go ahead and just give it a quick, um, you know, rundown of what device we have plugged in. So we'll just go ahead and send the uh, um, AT um, DevCon info. And it should come back with our device. There it is, the N975U1. So we know what we're dealing with. This is a Qualcomm-based device. And everything is good there. Now we're going to use this also to put it into download mode. So we're going to use AT plus fuse question mark. And that's going to go ahead and force the device to reboot into download mode so that we can connect to it with Odin. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And we'll go back to Odin. As you can see, it is connected here in download mode. Um, we are in COM5, and it is added, so we're good there. Our options are default. We haven't changed any of that. And then we've loaded our unlock bootloader custom kernel mode enable tar right there. And all you got to do is flash it. It's really, really that simple. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, again, this will wipe data factory set device, so be aware of that. But let's give it a go. So it looks like the um, everything went okay here. And now let's see what's on the device. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a warning um, on the device about the bootloader. So it says this phone's bootloader is unlocked and, well, couldn't read the rest of it. It was too quick. We can pause and read all that if you'd like to. So we do have the unlock bootloader screen coming up on the device. You can see the boot animation right there. There it is, factor resetting the device with a erase screen. And, okay, one more boot up. This is normal. Press the power key to continue. So here you can actually read it. So let's see what it says. This phone's bootloader is unlocked. Ugh, still can't get it quick enough. So a couple reboots, um, but uh, there was a button that said push the power button to continue there on that screen if you don't want to, like, wait for it to auto-continue. But it looks like it will auto-continue from the unlocked bootloader screen. And we're going through the initial boot up. So... Bootloader is unlocked on this Qualcomm device. Pretty awesome, right? Very simple. This is not a hard thing to do. Um, so this should allow me to flash custom kernels, turn off DM Verde, and all kinds of other things along with root access on this device, custom ROMs even if you wanted to. Now, there are some caveats about this process, and I'm going to link you to a lot of information about it down below this video. So stay tuned for that in those sections. While this thing's rebooting here powering up let's look at some information okay so we're gonna bring this down bring this guy up we'll minimize them just way so you can still see the phone on the side let's see if we can get all this in here okay perfect that should work all right so what is this? So now I'm opening up Hex Editor. If you guys haven't seen this before, I've used it in other videos. And I wanted to show you what is actually in this unlock file, okay? What it is, is it's a steady bin. See up here on the top? Steady bin, okay? So what you've got is you've got a steady bin file, and I've extracted it out of the tar, and this is what you're flashing. Now, this one, this steady bin file right here, is actually a e token okay and an e token is what you flash to get this allow to flash cut factory binary into a device right so when you do an e token if you haven't seen this in the combination firmware section 
Um, you need to have the DID number, the DID number, which is this number right there, or the device ID number. Okay, so you need the DID number. And you submit that and somebody on Samsung server can create you this e-token and it says allow to flash factory binaries to the device. And then you can flash a combination firmware to these devices. Okay. Now, what is the difference between this e-token and what we just flashed to unlock the bootloader? So we're going to pick the other Steadbin file I have here. And this is the new Steadbin file, which is actually also an e-token that has unlocked the bootloader. So once again, you can see my exact same device ID because I did it on the same device that I did for the uh, e-token uh, for the combination firmware. But this time, it says this, allow flashing custom firmware, right? It also says the SUL, the SUL mode. Uh, and mode custom kernel okay so this in fact is another e-token and here the device is finishing its boot up so this is an e-token that instead of allowing you to flash custom binaries or custom factory firmware it's finished up here turn that off um, this one unlocks your bootloader it's really that simple um, this file to my understanding is created by Samsung internally. And so um, these are not things that, at least my understanding, that you can actually create yourself. I know I can go in here and I can hex edit a file, like this file right here, and I could change the did number to something different. Uh, my understanding is that will not work on just any device with the correct did number there. Um, you have to have the right token generated. So this is the token number right here. Also note, anytime you flash one of these e-tokens, whether it's the custom binary token or it's the bootloader unlock token, you can only flash it to your device one time. That's it. Once you use up this token number right here, that token is no good. So once we flash it just now, this, this Steadbin file is basically useless um, to this device. Um, like I said, unless you maybe you change the the token number or did some kind of hex edit, you might be able to get it to go. I'm assuming it's signed, and so it won't actually work to do that. But who knows? Maybe some more research. So there you go. That's what we're flashing here. So you can see over here the device is completely factory reset. We can go ahead and do the setup on the device. No problems there at all. And right here we've got the Steadbin, if you're curious. I have linked this Steadbin, um, this... Uh, e-token below the video here if you want to take a look at it yourself it's the exact file we're seeing right here and you want to mess with it be my guest i'd be curious to find out if you guys can do anything with it or make it work on a different device that would be amazing please comment below if you have um, if you have any other questions about unlocking the bootloader with this process again comment below but that's going to wrap up this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one root junkie out